to identify oneself as a Vaishnav. Pundra actually means Urva Pundra, which means the lines we draw upwards and downwards to designate ourselves as Vaishnavs, like I'm with them. And then comes Nama, which means accepting a new name. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu would give his initiates a new name, those he'd meet and initiate. And also a vow to chant Hare Krishna, evam vrta svapriya nama kirtya, as recommended in Srimad Bhagavatam. If one takes a vow to chant Hare Krishna, then it becomes very powerful. And then comes mantra. Mantras are passed down by the great sages. There is one Vedic mantra. And then there's six more mantras, which are the Guru Gayatri, the Guru Mantra, Guru Mantra, Guru Gayatri, then Gora Mantra, Gora Gayatri, the Krishna Mantra, and the Kama Gayatri, for those who are taking second initiation. Those who are taking what we call Mantra Diksha today, Diksha means Divyam Gyanam Yatod Dadyat Kuryat Papa Sisang Shayam. Tasmat Dikshe Tisaprokta Deshikais Tatvakovidai as defined by the learned, it's for achieving divyam jnanam and coming close to Krishna, but especially in our line, it is for perfecting one's consciousness so that we can one can chant the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra perfectly. For by chanting the Hare Krishna Mantra perfectly then one attains all success, nothing else needed. Except in this age, there's a great deal of distraction, right? Yes. And therefore, going deeper into the process of meditating on Krishna, which is what this second initiation gives us, is a genuine meditation accompanied by mantra each day when you can think of Krishna more deeply, and also become purified by deity worship which is Yaga the fifth, which one then moves into as one is afforded the opportunity after taking Mantra Diksha. So there's these five stages. And this is one of the required processes for those who want to enter deeply within spiritual practice as recommended or prescribed rather by Rupa Goswami in his Upadeshamrita, when he describes taking shelter of Guru, asking questions t to clarify and remove doubts, and then entering into initiation, accepting initiation. So all of you are courageously moving forward, have turned your attention towards the spiritual world. Om Tad Vishnu Paramam Param Sadapa Shanti Suryoho Deva Vachakshara Tatanta Viprasa Vipanyavo Jagravamsaha Samindate Vishnu Yat Paramam Param means you're here but you've got other things on your mind like Krishna and the spiritual world. So you can walk in this world but be fully attentive to your ultimate goal of life, which is going back home, back to Godhead. And so today, uh, with all the devotees present, we have this heart-to-heart -heart process called Diksha, Vira Raghavacharya, in his commentary to the 10th Canto, second chapter, in the description of Krishna appearing in the world, he first comes into the mind and heart of Vasudev, and then he's transferred from there to the mind and heart of Devaki. Not an ordinary birth, and Vira Raghavacharya says it is Diksha. In the Parampara, which means one after another, there's a way in which each teacher passes down a mood of devotion to Lord Krishna. And it's the duty of each disciple then to teach that to more disciples who then imbibe the same mood which is Krishna is mine. And this is the meaning of Diksha. So that's what's happening here today. And there are a few ritualistic parts 
One of them is a purification mantra that we chant accompanied by sipping water. And this is called Achmana. I'll say a few more words about the meaning of initiation. And first I offer my respectful obeisances to His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. I offer my obeisances to Sri Sri Pantajapa, Sri Man Mahaprabhu, Sri Sri Gonitai, Sri Sri Aramanan Mohan, Sri Sri Lakshmina Sringadev. To my God brothers who are present here today, Prabhu Nashraya Prabhu, and Akuranath Prabhu, Sarva Mangala, Devi, Hare Krishna. And to all the simple devotees, Vansha Kalpadrusha, Kripa Sindhabe Vacha, Patitanam Pavanibhyo, Vaishnavibhyo Namo Namaha. It's such a lovely occasion, and congratulations to all the parents who happen to be here today, who have gotten swept up in the movement of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and therefore have brought children into the world who are naturally inclined to chant, dance, distribute Krishna all over the world, go to the Holy Dham, hear Srimad Bhagavatam, the association devotees take prasadam, and generally just be happy chanting Hare Krishna and having devotee friends. And congratulations to all of you here today f from whichever angle you're entering the fold of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's merciful Sankirtan movement, especially today by either accepting Mantra Diksha or through the process of vowing to follow four regular principles and chant Hare Krishna for the rest of your life. What a relief, right? To get out of the storm of the material world. It never worked out. We're a billion years into it, maybe a billion times, a billion to the what power? You can't even go that high. A billion to the zillionth power? Thank you. We, we have our <laughs> engineers in the front row. And it never worked out. But the, the good news is we figured out it never will. But there is a way to make it work because reality is beautiful and the ways of life are beautiful when we're properly aligned in service to the Supreme Personality of Godhead. And this is one demonstrative way that one enters into this life of confidence, walking on the path of devotional service as Krishna recommends. In the Bhagavad Gita, when he describes the material world as a tangled mess, Narupama seha tato palabhyate nanto nachadir nitasam pratishtam ashvatamenam savaruda bhulam asanga shastrain adritain chitva chatakparam tat parimargita vyam yasmin gatoya pantibuya tameva chadyam purusham prapadye yatak praviti prashrita parani. Krishna says, first figure out that the material world's a tangled mess, then learn how to get untangled from the tree, and then take a little pilgrimage straight back home, back to Godhead. Three steps. So that's what you're doing today. Those who are accepting mantra diksha, yata kanchana tamyati kamsam rasa vidanata, Tata Diksha Vidanena, Dvijatam Jaitendranam. These are authorized ways of approaching Krishna and transforming your life. Those of you who are taking Mantra Diksha, or have already taken, actually, everyone here has already taken the mantra and started chanting it uh, just earlier today. Just as Prabhupada gave the mantra to us, the mantras, the seven I mentioned. So we also pass them on to the beloved devotees who have approached for those mantras. And in the Hari Bhakti Vilas, Sanatana Goswami gives this verse, Yata kanchanatam yati kamsam rasavidhanata 
tata diksha vidani na dvija tvam jayatendrinam. There's three dvijas in the world. Sanskrit has various meanings, words in general do, but Sanskrit, there are many interesting, innovative ways, meanings to words. Dvija is a bird. Why is that? Takes birth twice. <laughs> yeah, we got a Kurnoth here. <laughs> you got your egg and then you got the bird, so that's a, a twice born. Teeth, how about teeth? They're also called Dvija. You get two sets. One thrown in for free, and then the second one, be careful. <laughs> and human beings are similar. You, you get one free birth in the material world, anything goes, and then when you get smart, you take your second birth. This is Dvijatam Jayatain, there's a way in which you take a second birth. And how do you do that? By the power of the Guru Parampara. There's a way in which the universe is purposeful. Krishna gives an opportunity for everyone to express his or her free will. One way is that you can be unserious and just swing on the monkey bars of the material world from one body to the next. And after all, you're still a monkey, even if you become a human being and you're swinging like that. And it doesn't amount to much. You, st you stay in the same conundrum that you started in when you came to the material world, which is that you can't ever get ahead, just as those who try to empty the ocean with a little teaspoon, and then instead they get the bucket brigade, and they try to empty it with the buckets, and that doesn't work, so then they invent some AI technology in a big pump and try to empty the ocean. But it doesn't empty. But when they look behind them, they see there's a lake. And they think, oh, we made progress. A teaspoon bucket and AI pump, we made a lake. And get distracted from the fact that the ocean never changed and the ocean is the ocean of material world. So one who comes to Krishna, Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita, I'm the swift deliverer from the ocean of birth and death. And the taking diksha means to accept the esoteric process of meditating on Krishna. And when one accepts that through the parampara, there's a transformation that takes place because the second purpose of the universe, besides swinging on the monkey bars is to take life seriously as an opportunity to go back home, back to Godhead. Krishna m mentions this in his teachings to Uddhava when he says, labam sudurlabam idam bahusam bhavante manusham artadam anityam apihadira. It's very rare to get a human body, but if you're lucky enough to get one, you have an opportunity to transfer yourself from the temporary material world to the spiritual world. And this is one of the purposes of those who take, or it's the prime purpose of those who take second initiation, is to take every step possible towards Krishna in order to attain the perfection of life, which is to go back to the spiritual world. And for those who are taking first initiation today, this is based on your faith, faith in the holy name. The main process for elevating oneself to the point of perfection in this life is all achieved by chanting Hare Krishna. Nothing else needed. That's proved by consulting the famous Gitavali book, my favorite book of songs in the world, in which Bhaktivinoda Thakur it's his Sharanagati, actually, at the end, but it's combined with the Gitavali. He writes that by the holy name, Krishna personally manifests and takes him by the hand back home, back to Godhead. Our acharyas have all confirmed this in their commentaries to verses in the Srimad Bhagavatam like, Ahobata Shwapachato Gariyan Yajiva Grevartete Namatu Vyam 
te busta tas te juhuvusas na arya brahmanatra nama grananti te, in which Devahuti is exclaiming out loud like you might exclaim when you find something amazing. And you say, oh, ho, ahobata. This is amazing that by chanting Hare Krishna, you can attain perfection in life no matter what position you're in now. And then there's this way in which the great acharyas are known to not leave any gaps in the process of devotional service. They want to assure that everyone's able to attain success. They go out of their way to set forth a path so that everyone can be assured of success. And in the Srimad Bhagavatam, 10th Canto, 2nd Chapter, the demigods praying to Lord Krishna within the womb say, Tvayam bujaksha kila satvadam ni samarina veshit cheta saike, tvapada putena mahatkritena kurvanti govatsa padam babdim, which means that Krishna and his great devotees, they make a path that by following the devotees themselves can go back to Godhead. They know the importance of human form of life and they follow a path that is authorized by the Shastra. They also customize it so it's a reasonable path for anyone to follow, including themselves, and then they offer that path to others. And when they do, and those like all of you today who take that path, what pada potena, mahat kritena, then kurvanti govatsa padam pabhabdim. There's a way in which what was impassable, impossible to cross, that is the material world, the ocean of the material world, that's the metaphor, it shrinks and it becomes manageable in the sense that by following the process you can step over it because it becomes that big. And so our acharyas recommend that these two initiations go together. There's the Harinam initiation, which means I have faith in the way that Krishna has incarnated in this world in the form of sound vibration. You can look into it, sonic theology. Krishna can appear in any form and is most mobile and easy to access of all incarnations is Hare Krishna. And then there may be somebody who says, okay, it's easy and it's accessible, but uh, it's really hard. And that's pretty much everybody. <laughs> the acharyas recommend that when take initiation from a spiritual master, don't just try to chant Hare Krishna yourself, although it, that's, it's feasible that you could do that. They say, take help. So those who are taking first initiation, they're following the prescription that Lord Chaitanya by example, showed is the accurate way to go. He took Harinam and Diksha, Mantra Diksha, from his guru. And Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur also says in his commentary to Srimad Bhagavatam that, yeah, you can chant Hare Krishna, but if you get that process from the Guru Prampara, then you'll be freed from an offense called disobeying the orders of the spiritual master. In other words, if it's available through a Vaishnav and you can take it, because that Vaishnav got it from another Vaishnav, but you don't take it and you remain a separatist and think, I'll just do it on my own, then he says, you're already committing the third offense to disobey the order of the spiritual master. You're already making offense before you even got started. <laughs> so taking initiation as, a f as an act of surrender, Dikshakali Bhaktakari Atma Samarpan, you're giving yourself, as Lord Chaitanya says, I, I'll, I'll be humble. I know I don't know everything or I don't know anything is a better mantra. I'm starting over. Someone said that to us yesterday and we said that's a perfect way to approach because that's what Sanat Goswami said. I'm starting from 
I don't know anything. You please tell me. I'll follow that. And then together with the Harinam and Diksha, which helps to keep us within the realm of purified life, you have to keep your fingernails cut short. Did you know that? I give a short break for station identification, and I'll say, please keep your fingernails short, especially those who are taking second initiation. It means you have to be clean, and you have to practice the uh, all the regulations that help to keep you in sattvagun, sattvam yad brahmadarshanam, where you can see Brahman naturally through the light of sattvaguna. And if you stay clean, keep your fingernails short. First thing they taught me when I joined the temple of San Francisco. Besides about 50 other things a day, or an hour. <laughs> Nowadays people are sensitive, it's like, leave me alone. <laughs> but if you want to make fast advancement, be open to suggestion or to instruction and so forth to make advancement faster. It's, it's all good. So Harinam initiation followed by Mantra Diksha. These are ways in which you bring together the two processes and give yourself the greatest advantage, says Jiva Goswami and the other achar Acharyas. So today, um, we're going to give special notice to some devotees who are taking, who have taken the mantras today, and some who have taken them a few months ago, <laughs> but didn't get to sit for a fire yagya. We have two that I see tonight that are, are in that category. So anything else you'd like me to say about the process of initiation? There are ten, 10 attitudes of respect that are highly recommended that you observe for advancing in Krishna consciousness. One is to note that those who are chanting Hare Krishna, teaching Krishna consciousness to others, are not noted in the Shastra to be extraordinary living entities. So be careful about criticizing them. Don't even look at them funny. Did you hear me? Don't look askance at your God family or your, that means your greater family of devotees anywhere, even if they're in another sampradaya. Just give a break to yourself by being respectful of all. Don't do it kidding around. I mean kidding around with your friends, that's all right. But be very careful that it's not in a way that is harmful to others. You can judge by looking at your own heart and seeing, do I, am I doing this out of friendship and love or am I doing it because of my false ego and I want to put others down? Don't do it. It's part of initiation. Just become sober-minded and respect other living entities. Don't even step on a bug. If you find a spider, help escort him outside to a bush. Just move around the world in a more careful way. Be aware of the fact that everybody's ultimately devotee of Krishna. I mean, those who are devotees of Krishna, you should, in your mind, be offering obeisances at least, and then avoid criticizing. OK? I need a verbal yes. yes. And then. There is a way of respect of Krishna. Krishna demonstratively shows Brahma when Brahma shows up and says, what, are there any other Brahmas besides me? And then Krishna manifests from his own mind millions of other Brahmas, just so he can experience the humility that I'm, one of the, I'm the smallest Brahma there is. And we should feel uh, that Krishna is the greatest, Nobody other great, greater than him and show respect to not only him but everybody that's part and parcel of him. And 
one should respect the teachings of the spiritual master and the Shastra. One should be very respectful of all Shastras that speak about God. One should become aware of the potency of the sound vibration that's infused with spiritual power that comes through disciplic succession and not take it lightly and think it's just imagination. One should not compare the chanting Hare Krishna to anything else. Hare Krishna chanting is very simple. It's presented etan nirvidyamana namichatam kato bayam yoginam ripanirnitam hare namana kirtana. Shukadev Goswami, who you can trust, says it's already vetted, so don't go to too much more trouble inventing other interpretations. And don't think this is equal to other kinds of prescriptions given for material advancement in the Vedas or anywhere else. It's a completely transcendental process. Namachintamani means it's transformational because it's completely spiritual. Also, don't throw it at people in their face when they're not ready for it because then they'll become indignant and they'll say bad things. Sometimes people are in a bad mood when they've been in the material world for a billion years to the trillionth power. They get cranky. <laughs> Vita Raga by a crota. They get a crota attitude. And if you just throw stuff at them in their face, I mean, Harinam, we're presenting in a beautiful way so that it goes in their ears and okay, if they walk by, it's okay, but don't go up to them and start jamming it at them. That includes your cousin Dalip, <laughs> who believes in computer science and nothing else. Be careful. Don't go around being a pest. Be a helpful person. And then also be respectful of the fact that you're a soul. And it's beneath your dignity to attach yourself to stupid stuff. Stupid means, as Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita, Yehi sam sparsha bhoga dukha yonaya evate adyantavant konteya na te shuramate bura. I took the liberty of saying stupid because he says that smart people don't do this. And what's that? Get attached to temporary things. The reality is perfectly available, so make a better choice. And don't get absorbed and attached to things that are material. Find a way to get to process those things and let them dissolve out of your life. And finally, respect your, the, your own power. Know that you're so powerful that whatever you look at, whatever you concentrate on, is creating a situation for yourself and for others. As where attention goes, energy flows. As Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita, whatever you meditate on will have a consequence. Jayato vishayan pum sam sangas teshu bhajayate. You get a sangha or an attachment to things in the material world and you're in for a wild ride. So look at everything as paraphernalia for Krishna's service and then None of it will stick to you. And these are, this is a summarization of the attitudes of respect one should live by when chanting Hare Krishna. And if you can do that, then be, the process will be quickly effective. Okay? Say yes. yes. Now, I would like to honor the devotees. That's your stuff. Okay. Good, you got one round in. Okay, so <laughs> first I'd like to honor Nikunja Sundari who took Mantra Diksha at Sadhu Sangha. And she didn't get a fire yagya. 
So she's, by the order of her Guru Maharaj, as only as Indra Swami, she's here, lucky for us, we, we got her here at ISV. Ha ha. Ha ha. Living proof of how one makes great... At, you can come off her basis as a Prabhupada. It'll be demonstrative that way. She's living proof of how one, in a professional life, a family life, raising an absolutely beautiful Vaishnavi in her family, and she's also working at the highest level of the professional world. And she's come to this level of being accepted by her Guru Maharaj to be ready for Mantra Diksha. And so we'd like to thank Nikunja Sundari for sitting in on our fire yoga today. You better give her something. <laughs> we don't have a certificate here. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna. Bananas are so use universal. <laughs> they can mean anything. Then we'll recognize that you can stay there because you went through a lot of the other process, but we want to recognize Mekala Devi Dasi who took initiation at the Sadhu Sangha and uh, they didn't want us, for some reason, to have a big fire inside a luxury hotel. <laughs> Still trying to figure that one out. <laughs> and so she didn't get to sit at a fire, and today she'll be sitting in, but you might have heard her offering yesterday. Mekala is a great soul. She had been spiritual, then she met devotees, is Madhuri Pura here? He is? If not, he was here. You can still feel his presence. And she's uh, so faithfully and with her own initiative approached the process of Krishna consciousness and never stopped and come to this point of taking Harinam initiation at the Sadhasanga. So we're so appreciative that you're here and your offering yesterday said so much about your personality and just, it's Paschata Deshitarne. We're always so pleased when somebody from this culture then just, because of seeing the essence of what's most important, comes in and just says, I'll take it. And that's you. And thank you very much. Hare Krishna. <laughs> Then we have our very own Sukhamala Radhe Devi Dasi, who today took her mantras uh, and is, has accepted the... And can we put a chair here for her? Or actually, okay. She's taken mantra diksha today. She is perhaps our best example in our whole community of one who, who has tenaciously taken to the process of devotional service. Our very beloved Rasika Shekhar passed away suddenly right after he took his initiation years ago. It was the first major shock we all had in our group. Your kids then were 15. 19, they took up all of a sudden a, a just amazing following in the footsteps of their father and went into the education system with a vengeance, with the idea of stabilizing and showing an example how to move on. But it's their mother that shone forth in the world. The most chaste wife I think Nirkul and I were discussing this yesterday. I don't think, I know. We were talking yesterday about your chastity to your, to your husband. And when she talked about taking second initiation, she said, I know 
he wanted to take second initiation and I'm doing it for him. But through everything, the day after Prabhu left us, you were there at the temple and you were constantly engaged and you have been constantly engaged since that time. We're so amazed how you show up for everything and just the trajectory of your life and how you've come to this point. It's so amazing. And then she came to the point of Bhakti Shastri and then she discovered for herself that, oh, I guess I can memorize verses. <laughs> In fact, she was telling me yesterday, even at my age, I can memorize verses. And uh, she's just an emblem. You are an emblem of steadiness and determination and true grit in Krishna consciousness. And we couldn't be more proud of you for coming to this point. Oh, Neil's here? Wow. We got Neil. Dr. Neil, go ahead. Uh, hi, can everyone hear me? Yes. Um, Hare Krishna, everyone. I just wanted to um, congratulate my mom on this uh, amazing honor. I wish I could have actually been there uh, in person today, but um, I think a lot of uh, what you said uh, was very relevant because I think my mom's uh, dedication to devotional service really goes back many years, actually, like 15, 17 years even, um, well before she was initiated for the first time and was a big part of the group cooking on the weekends and now in the last several years has become a really big part of the um, team that helps prepare for festivals and, um, you know, the ironing. And there's so many different things that we can point to. And she's um, been such a pillar of the community there and the temple. And, um, you know, especially since she's been since she's uh, retired in the last year plus, she's been able uh, to give a lot of even more time. Uh, to devotional service and uh, doing what she really what she really loves. And so um, and over the years, especially in the last 12 years, which have been obviously some of the hardest years of our of our lives, um, you know, mom has always been a, a rock for me and for um, so many people. Um, and uh, she really is the best. So um, I, I, I wish uh, I wish uh, I was there today, but um, I love you, mom. Yay. Hereby award you the certificate of your second initiation mantra diksha on this day of September 29, 2024. Congratulations. Thank you. Pushpadarni, please come up and receive your certificate. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Hare Hare Chair ah, 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 ah. Rama Rama Hare 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 Krishna um, We know Pushpa Dharani Mataji and uh, Rasaraj Prabhu uh, for a long time, and they have been here for more than one decade or so. And uh, <clears throat> I know she's been gradually uh, very interested in several things, doing garlands, cooking, and so many other services very diligently. And uh, we are so happy to have her in our community. And we love her very much, and we are happy for her that she's getting her Brahmin today. We hope that she can continue with the service to our Guru and Prabhupada. Radha Mohan. Congratulations.
Krishna Bhagarati hereby award you your certificate for Mantra Diksha. Congratulations. Thank you. Nikunja Vilasani. Hare Krishna. Rama Rama Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Ujjwala Rasa Gya Devi Dasi, are you there? Yes, yes, yes. Hare Krishna. My pronouns to you. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Good to see you. No, yes, but still. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much. And first of all, I was always looking for an opportunity to thank you both for giving us an opportunity for um, Nikunji Vilasni Mataji to take her first diksha. You gave that opportunity of Zoom call and that changed both her life and my life too. I wanted to thank that. Thank uh, for that. And uh, second thing is, yes, to say a few words about uh, Nikunja Vilasini Mataji. Um, devotion, since I knew her as a, a Bhakti Viksha servant leader, the devotion was, was evident there. And I was always looking for her so I can get some of her devotion. And uh, the devotion was pretty much so much within. And the way she nurtures her internal devotion is amazing. And uh, despite the challenges that she would face outside, how gracefully she carries through with her internal devotion, dependence on Krishna, and uh, after the diksha, her dependence and uh, her dedication to you, Vaisheshik Maharaj, her uh, Gurudev is awesome, very inspiring. Any instruction that comes from you and the seva that she does here at the book distribution, many other sevas, but this is her favorite seva. So uh, we, we love her. She is amazing, very pleasing, very graceful, gentle. And again, I look forward to her association so I know the ways of Sharanagati from her. <laughs> her dependence is wonderful, wonderful. We all love her so much. And uh, thank you. It's my honor to say something. We hereby award you your certificate of Mantra Diksha and congratulations. Hare Krishna. Now, those who are taking Harinam initiation today, I hope someone told you to bring some neck beads. They did? Okay. Uh, have you asked somebody to help you put them on? So organized. <laughs> so please put the neck beads on while we're preparing to call each one of you up. And in the meantime, the ways of wearing neck beads are very helpful. Those who are, yes, Shraddha Devi Dasi, please give her a microphone. Hare Krishna Guru Mataji, I just wanted to speak about Nukunja Sundari Mataji. Please. Yeah, so um, like you said, you know, it is our fortune to have her over here. And um, some, one thing that she shared with me while we used to discuss a lot on the spiritual aspects was that when she went to a temple in India, she was very in attracted to the deity worship. And she wished that, you know, uh, India means that women can't do it, right? And so she wished and that you know, in the next life that she would become a Brahmin and be able to do that. <laughs> so I'm just so very happy that she finally took a second initiation here. And uh, thanks to yeah. Wishes do come true. But by wearing two strands of neck beads, one indicates that one is aspiring for initiation. Those who wear three strands of neck beads show that they've accepted a spiritual master. 
One strand means you're thinking about it. <laughs> Try not to confuse anybody <laughs> by going to the gift shop and doing whatever you like. It's also indicative of the vow. When people ask, what's, what's all the face paint and the beads and so forth, it's easy enough or helpful to tell people that this indicates that I've taken vows. I'm living a life of dedication. People very much appreciate that because everyone wants to dedicate themselves somewhere, but it's not so easy to find a cause. Okay, now we're going to call up the devotees one by one for first initiation. The order in which we're calling them up is purposeful but not indicative of anything in particular except our ways of organizing things for excitement. <laughs> <laughs> so first, we'd like to call Bhakti Yash. I don't know if we need anybody to speak for you now. <laughs> the whole internet going off the rails there. Is that somebody who wants to speak for you or they're just... Just got unmuted? Okay. David Murti Dasi, we could hear you. So, <laughs> did you bring anybody from Sacramento? Huh? Oh, the whole cheering gallery. One person we have time for would like to speak on his behalf. Please go I ahead. think Goin Premadaji will say something for him. Okay. It's often said that um, never underestimate the prayers of a loving mother. And um, seeing Yash Prabhu here today is a testament of that. I remember how Jagannath Priya Mataji would mention, I just wish my children would take up to Krishna consciousness. And Krishna simply heard. Working with Yash Prabhu at the Davis program, I have observed how attentive and thoughtful he was, and how he has dovetailed his natural inclination of being observant to following the details of Vaishnava etiquette, how he has his used his natural inclination of being helpful to serving the devotees, how he has used his natural inclination for acquiring knowledge to now starting to learn scriptures, recite verses, and encourage so many others to do the same. How he has used his natural inclination of finding the right person to take shelter of. So on behalf of the Sacramento congregation, we're so grateful to you, Vaishya Prabhu, Nirakula Mathichi, and this August Assembly for taking care of our children with such love, care, and fanning that spark. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> we know for sure if the children are taken care of, the parents are automatically taken care of. <laughs> thank you, Prabhu. Thank you, Govinda Priya. We're honored that you're here, and thank you for speaking. And to all the devotees who came from Sacramento, thank you very much for being here. We, we were just up there for Rath Yatra, and on the way home we were thinking, well, one thing we were thinking, sure, it sure is a long way. The other one is it would be nice to get together more often, all of us, Sacramento and ISV in Berkeley. Thank you. Hare Krishna. Yash. Um, 
I concur with everything that Govinda Priya said, and we like you very much. You have, you have gentle qualities, you have leadership qualities, and the ways in which you've been steadily engaged in various services, you're so dependable. It's a sign of a quality that you can't fake, and that is that you have steadiness. Steadiness comes from devotion, and thank you very much for coming this far. Please tell us from your heart the vows you're making today. Hare Krishna Guru Maharaj, Hare Krishna Guru Ma. I vow to chant a minimum of 16 rounds of the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra every day. I also vow to adhere to the four regulative principles, namely no meat eating, including fish and eggs, no intoxications, no illicit sex, and no gambling. Well done. <laughs> sadhu, sadhu. Bhakti Yash, following the eternal principle of parampara, taking Srila Prabhupada's and Lord Chaitanya's order to expand the Sankirtan movement as my life and soul, and depending on their mercy, the mercy of the previous acharyas, and all the Vaishnav devotees of the Lord who are like desire trees. I'm exceedingly pleased to accept you as my disciple, and therefore a grand disciple of his divine grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, and a member of the Brahma Madhva Gaudiya Sampradaya. May all of the previous acharyas and the ocean of mercy, Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, shower you with their grace. Your name is in the Srimad Bhagavatam. And it's a name of Krishna. Which indicates that he's the master of all mystic powers. It comes in the pastime of Krishna swallowing the forest fire. I very, very joyfully award you the name Yogadisha Das. <laughs> Yogadisha Das Prabhu Ki! Yogadisha Das Prabhu Ki! Yogadisha Das Prabhu Ki! Shantosh. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Sri Vas Prabhu is telling you to full dandavat, even though he's absorbing the. <laughs> he doesn't mind. That's why. <laughs> what to do? Uh, we have already a, a wait, 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 wait. We got from <laughs> Sudhir Madhava Prabhu wrote me this morning, just reminding me of all the service that you've done. You're kind of quietly from behind the scenes. You clean, you do high-tech work and all kinds of things. And uh, who's here that's speaking? Celtic. Okay, please pass Celtic Karnava the mic. I just wanted you to know also that Sudhir wrote all the way from India, appreciating you very deeply. Please give a mic. Is Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Guru Maharaj. Uh, so uh, about Santosh Prabhu, we came in touch in 2016, and he uh, gives a, he's a great example of the yoga ladder that Krishna mentions in 12th chapter. He was very inquisitive about the process. He was serving, uh, as Sudhir Mahadaburu mentioned. He had to go through a lot of challenges from his um, uh, family, from work. But um, he continued practicing devotional service throughout. And uh, I mean, slowly he started chanting, and then he started aspiring for you. you 
your, your shelter. And I'm very grateful for his sincerity. Whenever I would call him for service, he was already always available, no matter what was going on. And t today, he's actually even inspiring his friends to come up and sponsoring for Bhagavatam, for Srimad Bhagavatams, and bringing them closer to Krishna. So I'm very grateful, Guru Maharaj, for giving him shelter and a new name. Thank you. Santosh, please tell us these beautiful vows you're eager to take. Hare Krishna and dear Guru Maharaj. Uh, today, I would like to take the vows of uh, no meat eating, including onion, garlic, fish, uh, mushroom, eggs, uh, no uh, intoxication, including tea and coffee, um, no gambling, and uh, no uh, illicit sex. And also, uh, I would like to take the vow of chanting 16 rounds of Hare Krishna Maha Mantra every day, and also, um, like, uh, 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 that's enough. Uh, <laughs> you said you'd like to take the vow. So are you taking the vow or you would like to? Say, I take these vows. Hereby take these vows. Yeah, I take these vows. Yeah. yeah. Well done. Thank you. Following, dear Santosh, following the eternal principle of parampara, taking Srila Prabhupada's and Lord Chaitanya's order to expand the Sankirtan movement as my life and soul, and depending on their mercy, the mercy of the previous Acharyas, and all the Vaishnav devotees of the Lord who are like desire trees. I'm exceedingly pleased to accept you as my disciple, and therefore a grand disciple of his divine grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, and a member of the Brahma Madhva Gaudiya Sampradaya. May all the previous Acharyas and the ocean of mercy, Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, shower you with their grace. Your name comes from Srila Kavi Karnapur's Ananda Vrindavan Champu. And it is a beautiful name of Krishna, which means that he brings all good fortune to all. I very happily award you the name Sakala Subhag Das. <laughs> Sakala Subhag Das Ki Sakala Subhag Das Ki Sakala Subhag Das Ki Bhaktin Bhumika <laughs> Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare 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 Ram, Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Let's give a mic to a uh, Thank you Ananda Vrindavan Devi Hare Krishna Hare Krishna So happy for Bhumika today We know her over a decade, and um, she has been our very good friends, and um, you know they are kind of our family friend, Nam Saran Prabhu and Bhumika Mataji, as Abhay and Nia are very close friends from childhood. Mm -hmm. They are only two days apart by birth, so <laughs> so uh, as Mataji's name has Bhumi in it, I was thinking, you know, how much down to earth she is. Mm -hmm. Like she does everything very quietly. She does her sadhana, her chanting, her reading very, you know, with all the analytical studies she does and of the sastras. And also in Bhakti Shastri, she was really enjoying, you know, when she was doing it. And memorizing verses also she does. And um, serving in the temple, like cleaning every Sunday, all the rooms, the hallways, she would just, you know, sweep and mop, like that's her favorite service in the temple. And also cooking for the deities. So she has so much of qualities and she does so much of services, but without anybody noticing her. Like she does so quietly and so nicely. And even though I was telling her always about initiation, that she was chanting 16 rounds from long time, but she took her own time. She wanted to understand the process properly and you know whether 
where she would be in that. And uh, she really analyzed. And then she took the shelter of yours. So we're really happy for that for our today. And uh, congratulations to you, as well as wish you all the success in your uh, service and in Shila Prabhupada's mission and the spiritual journey. Thank you. Hare Krishna. May we have a mic, please? There you go. Bhakti Bhumika, could you please tell us the vows you come here to take today? Namo Om Vishnu Padaya, Krishna Prasthaya Bhutale, Shri Mate Vaishishikadas Adhikari Iti Namine, Nama Prahasra Shilaya Prabhupada Anusarine, Anandhitari Dei Tasmai Sastra Bhajana Chodine. Hare Krishna. I'm here to take a vow, um, chanting 16 rounds, minimum 16 rounds every day and follow four regulatory principles, which are no meditating, no intoxication, no illicit sex, and no gambling. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna. <laughs> Bhakti Bhumika, following the eternal principle of parampara, taking Srila Prabhupada's and Lord Chaitanya's order to expand the Sankirtan movement as my life and soul, and depending on their mercy, the mercy of the previous acharyas, and all the Vaishnav devotees of the Lord who are like desire trees. I'm exceedingly pleased to accept you as my disciple, and therefore a grand disciple of his divine grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, and a member of the Brahma Madhva Gaudiya Sampradaya. May all of the previous Acharyas and the ocean of mercy, Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, shower you with their grace. Your name comes from the Radhakrishna Gonadesha Deepika. And it's a name of one of Krishna's flutes. I very happily award you the name Bhuvana Mohini Dasi. Bhuvana Mohini Mataji ki. Bhuvana Mohini Mataji ki. Bhuvana Mohini Mataji ki. Now we have Bhakta Ayan. Hari <laughs> Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Hare Hare. Raja Raman. Raja Raman Prabhu will be speaking on behalf of, right? Okay. Hare Krishna, Vaisheshaka Maharaj. Hare Krishna. My Koti Koti Dandavats to uh, at personally at the feet of all the assembled devotees. Um, it is my great fortune uh, that I am part of this important occasion in Ayan Prabhu's life. I wish I could have joined in person. I'll try my best to read as quick as possible on the limited time that is allotted to me. I'm very humbled to be invited to speak few words about Ayan Prabhu. Well, I got to know Ayan Prabhu when he was in the middle school, when his parents, His Grace Damodar Hari Prabhu and Her Grace uh, Nandrani Priya Mataji started associating the devotees here in his con Seattle. Right from the, such a young age of 12 to 13 years, Ayan had a tremendous service attitude. Whatever service he volunteered to do, he did it with enthusiasm, dedication and the results were exceeding expectation. You not only did the, your own service, but also extended yourself to help others in finishing their service. Over the years, you have achieved unparalleled success, both materially and spiritually, which I would like to mention briefly for the pleasure of the devotees. You have not only done phenomenally well in academics in your school, but also won multiple accolades at, de at Destination Imagination Competition nationally and internationally. Through your non-profit, which you formed at the age of 16, you positively impacted over 5,000 K-12 students in Washington and Oregon. 
you did an internship at prominent tech companies like Amazon and Microsoft, working full time now at Microsoft. Ayan, you have two startup companies at a such a young age and were featured in the list of influencers in the 2023 Forbes 30 under 30 for Seattle region. You used all your tech skills to make fruit box for Shishi Radha Nila Madhava and Mahamantra plaque for the devotees using 3D printers and laser cutters following Srila Prabhupada's instruction of utility is the principle. We are building a large replica of Ram temple for this year's Anand Mela, fixing the temple, temple's indoor and outdoor electrical lights, saving thousands of dollars, or helping at Sadhu Sangha with all the beautiful backdrops. Your entrepreneurial skills have clearly reflected in all the services you have rendered professionally. You single-handedly manage all the power and electrical needs of the ISKCON Seattle Outdoor Festival, some of which attract over 25,000 visitors. Devotionally, you have impeccable sadhana of finishing your rounds, uh, chanting early in the morning or running mantra house program end to end at University of Washington, through which you have opened access to the holy name to hundreds and thousands of youths and to the mainstream society in the Seattle area in less than two years since the mantra house started. You are the only force behind organizing weekly youth jams, camping tours for the kids and youths of ISKCON Seattle. In this age of digital distraction, when everyone finds solace in mobile phone, you best utilize the time memorizing slokas and reciting daily prayers, which I personally witnessed when we were waiting for a spiritual gathering in a home program. Ayan Prabhu, you are a youth icon at ISKCON Seattle, inspiring many around you. Your extraordinary contribution to our society is also noticed and appreciated by all the prominent preachers visiting ISKCON Seattle like His Grace Gauranga Prabhu, His Holiness Swayam Bhagavan Keshav Maharaj. On the behalf of His Grace Harivalas Prabhu and entire Sri Sri Radha Nilamada family here at ISKCON Seattle, we wish you best for your spiritual progress and journey ahead. May you always be engaged and pleasing Sri Guru and Gauranga. All glories to His Grace Vaishyashaka Maharaj for accepting Ayan and connecting him to our glorious Sampradaya. Bhakta Ayan Ki Jai. Bhakta Ayan, please tell us what these great vows that lead to freedom of the soul in devotional service you'd like to make today. Hare Krishna Guru Maharaj, Hare Krishna Guru Maharaj. In the presence of all the devotees and Srila Prabhupada, Radha Madan Mohan, I take the vow to chant a minimum of 16 rounds every single day for the rest of my life. I vow to follow the four regulated principles, which are no meat eating, no intoxication, no illicit sex, and no gambling. I also vow to not criticize devotees as much as possible, especially online in this age of social media. <laughs> Thank you very much. Bhaktayan, following the eternal principle of Parampara, taking Srila Prabhupada's and Lord Chaitanya's order to expand the Sankirtan movement as my life and soul, and depending on their mercy, the mercy of the previous Acharyas and all the Vaishnava devotees of the Lord who are like desire trees, I'm exceedingly pleased to accept you as my disciple and therefore a grand disciple of his divine grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, and a member of the Brahma Madhva Gaudiya Sampradaya. May all the previous Acharyas and the ocean of mercy, Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, shower you with their grace. Your name comes from the Sri Radha Krishna Gonadesha Deepika. And it refers to a place where Krishna resides, where everyone feels extreme delight. I very happily award you the name Amoda Vardhana Das. Amoda Vardhana Prabhu ki! Amoda Vardhana Prabhu ki! Amoda Vardhana Prabhu ki! Bhakta Brent. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Uh, 
राम राम हरे हरे Well, we get a double blessing today because if what I'm seeing on my notes is correct, we're going to hear from His Grace Charu Prabhu, who's the well. I mean, his accolades never stop. He joined the Krishna Conscious Movement in Australia in 1970 and has been a one of the best preachers in the Krishna Conscious Movement, in my opinion, in the, in the whole world. Is he on the screen? He's not here. Well, he's still all those things anyway. <laughs> And uh, why is he on the list? Was Jeru supposed to? Sp uh, did anybody yeah, tell Sunday him? Sunday feast tonight. He didn't know if he was going to be able to make it or not. Okay. Well, I was just finished by saying that Jeru has been an outstanding preacher of Krishna consciousness. And Bhakti Bren is working under his shelter there, and has has become, as according to the letter I got from Charu, Prabhu indispensable in his service there, steadily engaged in devotional service, in many valuable ways there in Utah, but I can also say from personal experience because Bhakti Bren has been a steady part of the production group that we have, and you've. I, we can see from the way you think, the way you problem solve, the ideas that you give, that you have a very keen intelligence and great capabilities. You also have experience in, in the world, and you've also, by your own volition, come up to this point of being fully steady in devotional service and ready to take initiation. So it's. It's an extreme pleasure to have you come all the way out here today, and perhaps we'll somehow entice Charu Prabhu to come on later. Uh, Bhakti Brent, please tell us the vows you've come here to make today. Hare Krishna, Guru Maharaj. Hare Krishna, Guru Ma. Uh, I vow to chant at least 16 rounds of the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra every day for the rest of my life, and I. Vowed to follow the four regulative principles, which are no meat eating, including fish and eggs, no gambling, no illicit sex, and no intoxication. Dr. <laughs> <laughs> Brent, following the eternal principle of parampara. Taking Srila Prabhupada's and Lord Chaitanya's order to expand the Sankirtan movement as my life and soul, and depending on their mercy, the mercy of the previous Acharyas and all the Vaishnav devotees of the Lord who are like desire trees, I'm exceedingly pleased to accept you as my disciple, and therefore a grand disciple of His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, and a member of the Brahma Madhva Gaudiya Sampradaya. May all the previous acharyas in the ocean of mercy, Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, shower you with their grace. Your name is a name of Krishna that comes from the Padyavali, and it means the moon of the Gopas. I very joyfully award you the name Balava Chandra Das. Balava Chandra Prabhu ki, Balava Chandra Prabhu ki, Balava Chandra Prabhu ki. Shri Tulsi. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama. This way, this way, this way. Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama.
Sri Tulsi's mother is here and she'll say a few words. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna Maharaj, Jai Jai Radha Krishna, Jai Jai Narasimha Deva, Jai Jai Karunita, Jai Jai Prabhupada and Guru Acharyas. Um, I wish to take this opportunity to uh, give my gratitude um, to Maharaj because um, before, actually I don't know what to speak about her, before getting my chance out of Maharaj's unlimited mercy, you're accepting her in this early age. And um, one thing I can, I want to tell her is we are, we ne we're never qualified and we're not even eligible. It's it's a grace. It's a grace of Guru and Krishna. It's a grace means it's like the grace mark. Actually, we are not um, up to that mark, but out of the grace, out of mercy, we will come to that mark. <laughs> so, which seems to be apparently eligible, but always keep in mind that um, we are never eligible or we are never qualified. It's all our Guru's and Krishna's mercy. And I'm sorry, um, I wanted our Sacramento family to speak about her, but see, she chose my name. <laughs> so <laughs> so with, with all your mercy and um, with your permission, I am speaking. Um, so uh, to talk about her, uh, she she was very, she has been um, very kind, kind in the way, like by, without talking or conveying, she would, she would help others, like by observing their eyes or okay, she would lend her hand. It, it, it all started from her preschool, the very first time, from her, uh, her preschool teacher, she, she uh, personally, privately uh, called me and talked about her um, because that time she was two and a half. Um, so that was the first comment I uh, received from the teacher. The, the teacher's words was like this, she's a real, your daughter is a real human being. She's so, <laughs> she's so <laughs> kind to others. And, um, and then uh, from our, Sacramento family from our kids, Ranjini and Vishak, only she got to know about Yudja. And honestly, at first, I forced her to join. Um, um, I, would <laughs> I would go into the room and make sure that she's attending, but she would uh, play with her Play-Doh, and um, then she would. <laughs> but I don't know how, when that happened, and she um, started she's into that and um, I'm also observing, I'm very immature and ignorant. I'm also observing all these as Krishna's mercy and Krishna's teaching for me and for her. And she, she loves her Guru Ma and Guru Maharaj so much. And um, so far I've been with 14 years, but I was thinking like all of a sudden, uh, how come she loves <laughs> this much? And uh, <laughs> but uh, I'm not jealous. I, I I'm so happy, <laughs> so happy about that. Um, the first time when she met Shim Guru Maharaj at the San Francisco Riyadh Yatra, she had. I was just uh, looking at Maharaj, what Maharaj was going to say, but I didn't even pay attention to her, and she had tears and she was crying and they just looked at that I could I didn't I all that fraction of a second I I didn't feel like she was my daughter I said well, I, I was thinking why she was crying um, um, so it all happened uh, <laughs> so I feel this moment as Krishna's uh, mercy I don't know anything and um, I'm just a mom like a name and I'm here uh, so I feel like, okay, Krishna has arranged everything through our, our 
devote our Sacramento family, and they arrange everything. Well, I, I would like to um, thank um, Hilajal Prabhu, otherwise we wouldn't have been here this time, and with the outfit and all, uh, everything, going to Pramadji and all other, all other Sacramento devotees. Uh, Association Krishna sends everything through his devotees, and now we are here in this time. Uh, so, thank you so much. Shri Tulsi, please tell us the vows you've come here to take today. Hare Krishna Guru Maharaj, Hare Krishna Guru Ma, in front of Shri Shri Radha Madan Mohan, Shri Shri Lakshmi Nursingadev, Panchatattva, Shri Prabhupada, and all the assembled devotees, I come here today to name my vows. To begin, I vow to chant a minimum of 16 rounds every day without fail. I also vow to strictly follow the four regulated principles, namely no meat eating, including fish and eggs, no intoxication, no gambling, and no illicit sex. Well done. Thank you. <laughs> Bhakti and Sri Tulsi, following the eternal principle of parampara, taking Srila Prabhupada's and Lord Chaitanya's order to expand the Sankirtan movement as my life and soul, and depending on their mercy, the mercy of the previous acharyas, and all the Vaishnava devotees of the Lord who are like desire trees, I'm exceedingly pleased to accept you as my disciple, and therefore a grand disciple of his divine grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, and a member of the Brahma Madhva Gaudiya Sampradaya. May all of the previous acharyas and the ocean of mercy, Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, shower you with their grace. Your name is mentioned in Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur's songs about those cowherd damsels of Vrindavan who assist Lalita and Vishaka singing the glories of the Lord and serving from the cores of their heart eternally in the spiritual world. I very joyfully award you the name Saki Vrinda Dasi. Sakhi Vrinda Dasi Ki Sakhi Vrinda Dasi Ki Sakhi Vrinda Dasi Ki Bhaktin Rohini <laughs> Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna. So I'm very excited to today for you, Rohini, and I don't know why you and your family chose me to speak today. <laughs> but I can tell you that you are as sweet as Bengali sweets. <laughs> <laughs> I know you from your birth. Your parents asked that please pray that we have a beautiful child. And I didn't know what we were praying for, but I am really grateful to the Lordships that they have blessed us to have you a part of our community. Truly, I mean, your strong attachment to the Vaishnavas, to the everyone, no matter who you come across, and what to speak of your attachment for your spiritual master and your Guruma. And you never fail to give a blueberries. <laughs> <laughs> your qualities, what to speak of your qualities, you're so humble. No matter when, if you're in the middle of anything, every time you answer the call and humbly accepts any service. You have accepted 
many gurus, many shiksha gurus to be to to take and you take shelter of them with very open mind. And that's one of the very deep quality that you actually carry in the top of your heart. And what to speak of your commi commitment to the service, you never fail. It, if, even if it is, even if it is, uh, if you're in school or you're in the middle of anything, you have accepted any service that has come on your way with the grace. Your attitude is also very uh, beautiful to accept those service. Even if it, that is a making a gajra for Radharani or doing even the cleaning, whatever it takes, you never stop your service till the end, until it's complete. You're cons consistent. You never get tired and bored of a seva. <laughs> and you're contagious with your enthusiasm that you carry in your heart. You're very intelligent. What reminds me of Srila Prabhupada's quality is that you are very intelligent and you, you use that intelligence and your organization skills in the service. And that is something that I have seen that you have taken from your Guru Maharaj's classes and your constant engaging in the service. Even if it is for making a garlands or even if it is for organizing this leads for singing the Mother Rashtakam prayers. How meticulously you organize. We wanted from last few years in the festival service that we wanted to write down what preps we are cooking, what quantity goes in it, who is cooking it, what's the feedback after, this, after the festival. You have incorporated and has put everything in meticulously in a place, the system and process for the future generation. So we have a lot that you're going to share with them, that we count on you. I can't be more proud of you today that now you're going to, I'm going to see, I'm going to see you take a second birth and actually in the real family of Guru Parampara in Acharyas. So I couldn't be more proud and you have a lot of potential in you. Please take all the instructions of your Guru Maharaj to your heart and follow the every step of it. You're going to make a huge difference in, in the Srila Prabhupada's organization and carry that weight as the most priority of your life. Thank you very much, Rohin, for being part of our IC community. Bhakti Mohini, please tell us the vows you've come here to make today. Hare Krishna, dearest Guru Maharaj and Guru Ma. <coughs> In the presence of Sri Sri Radha Madan Mohan, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Sri Sri Lakshmi Nishingadev, Sri, uh, Sri Sri Panchatattva, Srila Prabhupada, and all the assembled devotees here. Today, I take a vow to strictly follow the four regulative principles, which are no meat eating, including fish and eggs, no gambling, no intoxication, and no illicit sex. I also take a vow to chant a minimum of 16 rounds of the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra every single day for the rest of my life. Hare Krishna. I really appreciated the mood in which you said your vows. I reminded me once in Chicago when Shiva Ram Maharaj and I had moved Shishi Kishori Kishori to a new temple and we were doing the puja and I was 
picking up Shalagram Shila and I couldn't stop my hands from shaking. And one of the senior devotees there afterwards said, we saw your hand was shaking. I said, I'm really sorry. He said, no, I really appreciated it. <laughs> Thank you for bringing the art of garland making for Krishna to a new level, you and your team members. It's one of the, one of the aspects of this community I, I'm most proud of, and I'll never stop saying it. It's the best I've ever seen anywhere, and you are part of that team, and one of the, one of the engines of that team and your steadiness is amazing. Thank you f for all that you've done you've done. I'll also just say that Rahini, as you can see, is sweet and sweet and sweet. But whenever I go to Mayapur, all the sannyasis and brahmacharis are always coming. Rahini told us that you should give class, so <laughs> <laughs> Rahini said you should give the kirtan today. So <laughs> she kind of runs Mayapur from behind the scenes. <laughs> Bhaktin Rohini, following the eternal principle of parampara, taking Srila Prabhupada's and Lord Chaitanya's order to expand the Sankirtan movement as my life and soul, and depending on their mercy, the mercy of the previous Acharyas, and all the Vaishnav devotees of the Lord who are like desire trees, I am exceedingly pleased to accept you as my disciple, and therefore a grand disciple of his divine grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, and a member of the Brahma Madhva Gaudiya Sampradaya. May all of the previous Acharyas and the ocean of mercy, Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, shower you with their grace. Your name is the name of Srimati Radharani, which is mentioned in, in the Radha Sahasranam from the Narada Pancharatra. And it means one who bestows love for Krishna. I hereby very joyfully award you the name Rati Prada Dasi. Rati Prada Dasi Ki Rati Prada Dasi Ki Rati Prada Dasi Ki Well in baseball, I don't know about cricket, but we have what's called the clean up batter. <laughs> they pick one of their stars at the end, just in case anybody's on base, to get a sixer, as we call a home run here in America. And uh, therefore, I'd like to call our very own Gita Priya. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Rama. Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Rama. Rama Rama Hare Hare <clears throat> Dear Vaishesh Prabhu and Nirakula Mataji, thank you so much for accepting Gita Priya. And um, she's extraordinarily fortunate because when she was born, Nirakula Mataji was there at the time of delivery. And now when she's taking second birth, she's there as well. So it cannot be a much sweeter um, turn of events. And then me and Malini were a team. Um, on Saturdays, she would go on book distribution. Sundays, I would come to the temple. So I would take care of her on Saturday, and Sunday, she would take care. And oftentimes, I wondered um, that uh, you know, I'm missing on book distribution because I'm at home taking care of her. Little did I realize that I was babysitting your disciple. <laughs> uh, with that, I will. Uh, and, and if I have to do that all over again, I would be very happy to do it. So, <laughs> so with that, I'll just pass 
to Malni because she has had much more contact, nine months more contact than me, so. Hare <laughs> <laughs> Krishna. As Srivas Prabhu was mentioning um, that you were there when she was born, I just realized this morning that uh, you saw her before even I saw her. <laughs> and um, the relationship that she had with both of you since the beginning was so sweet. And um, she would, when like a baby, she would come, give you a hug, and always it was so affectionate relationship. And very soon I saw that there was a transformation that happened. I thought familiarity breeds contempt, but um, soon I saw that the relationship formalized into a guru shishya uh, relationship. It was I was reminded of how. Arjuna and Krishna were friends in the beginning, but when it came to the serious matters, Arjuna mm. became a disciple and Krishna took the role of a teacher. <laughs> she is very fortunate. Um, actually, you all are very fortunate to have a spiritual master like Vaisheshika Prabhu, and you get a bonus. You also get Her Grace Nirakula Mataji. <laughs> <laughs> Which is very unique. And Gita Priya is, has been committed um, in her in her Krishna consciousness. One thing I saw that she has organized her life in such a way that she could dedicate her time for chanting. Um, so that faith is there and um, she has a very good friends here. And the entire temple has actually practically been part of her life here. Um, she, I think she got a good ship, boat, body that she got. And she got expert captains, both of you. And uh, um, I hope the favorable winds, favorable winds of the Shastras, the instructions, and all the association of all the Vaishnavas can propel her towards the goal of her life. I know she's young, so there might be many obstacles that may come her way. So I'm requesting everyone to please bless her, pray for her, and watch out for her so that she can steer through um, trying to get around the obstacles. I'm so grateful to you, Prabhu, and Mataji for accepting her. Hare Krishna. I just forgot to say something that we are really proud of you. <laughs> Bhakti Gita Priya, would you like to tell us the vows you've come here to make today? Hare Krishna Guru Maharaj, Hare Krishna Guru Ma. I'm um, in front of Shishi Radha Madan Mohan, Shishi Lakshmi Nishingadev. All the assembled Vaishnavas and Srila Prabhupada, um, I have come here to take a few vows. The first is to strictly follow the four regulative principles, which are no meat eating, including fish and eggs, no gambling, no intoxication, and no illicit sex. I also vow to chant a minimum of 16 rounds of the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra every day for the rest of my life. I remember the day you were born. I was in New York because I had been invited there to recite the Bhagavad Gita at a yoga center. And I got the call, I think late in the evening, and Gita Jayanti was your birthday. Of course, the time I noticed you the most was when we were in Jagannath Puri on a yatra. And I've never seen anything like this, but when it was time to go, you just lost it. <laughs> totally. Started crying un uncontrollably. And I've heard of things like this before, but I'd never seen it, especially in a young child. 
which you were at the time. And then when I called Srivas Malini to find out how you were, they said, oh no, she cried all the way to the airport and all the way home. And I noticed that that, that was not ordinary. And your life has not been ordinary in any way because you're an extraordinary devotee. And I was just telling your parents last night that the timing of all you appearing in the world and the way you came in during this big push forward. I remember when Malini got pregnant, she was saying, she was worried, how will I keep my service going? <laughs> you came into that environment of the intense Sankirtan Yagya and you're so special to us. We feel very, very fortunate to have su such a beautiful soul as our disciple. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. <laughs> Bhakti Gita Priya, following the eternal principle of Parampara, taking Srila Prabhupada's and Lord Chaitanya's order to expand the Sankirtan movement as my life and soul. And upon depending on their mercy, the mercy of the previous Acharyas, and all the Vaishnava devotees of the Lord who are like desire trees. I'm exceedingly pleased to accept you as my disciple, and therefore a grand disciple of his divine grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, and a member of the Brahma Madhva Gaudiya Sampradaya. May all the previous Acharyas and the ocean of mercy, Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, shower you with their grace. Well, everybody knows I like Bhaktivinoda Thakur. <laughs> and I love the songs of Bhaktivinoda Thakur, and I hope I'm not too predictable. <laughs> but it's a name I couldn't resist because it means so much to me, and I vetted it with Nirkula at least five or ten times. <laughs> but I'm exceedingly happy to award you the name Gitavali Devidasi. <laughs> Gitavali Devi Dasi Ki Gitavali Devi Dasi Ki Gitavali Devi Dasi Ki Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare Just one second. Can we request all the devotees to now move forward and we can even fill up these gates? And humble request to the ISV devotees if you would like to volunteer your seats. If you would like to volunteer your seat, that will please your gurus and let the outside guests come in for a little bit so they can be also part of this beautiful ceremony. Thank you very much. And just move closer as much as you can. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. I 
Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Oh, 
the fire ceremony. And I request four devotees to volunteer to read Bhagavatam. One in this section, one over here, one back here. Thank you. Right. One in each uh, corner. If you can uh, either open your phone or take a book and just read aloud to yourself. Some verses from the Bhagavatam. And also, we'll be offering, you'll be offering grains into the fire. You make a little deer like this with your middle and ring finger and your thumb and offer grains to the fire. Those of you who are in the second, third rows, you'll notice that you have two little brass bowls. One of them has grains and the other is empty. So when it's time to offer grains into the fire, I'll say swaha, take the grains in your fingers and then offer them, put them in the bowl, the empty bowl. At the end, we'll offer them into the fire. And that avoids a lot of scattering of grains every direction. So we invite everyone to, at the right time, participate in repeating the mantras be doing a few preliminary mantras for creating auspiciousness and then we'll start the fire and then with a few introductory mantras we'll start the after a few introductory mantras we'll start the Mangalacharana offerings and uh, if you like to create any kind of background Savana Bhavatu, Savana Bunaktu, Sahavir Yankara Abahai, Ejasvinam Adityam Mastuma, Vidvishabahai, Om Shantis, Shantis, Shantihi, Jaya Shri Krishna Chaitanya. Prabhu Nityananda, Sri Advaita Gadadhara, Sri Vasadi Gora Bhaktarinda, Om Asya Karmana Punyaham Punyaham Brabantu, Om Punyaham Throw Flowers, Om Punyaham, Om Punyaham Throw. Om Asya Kamana Swasti Bravantu Bravantu Ayushmati Swasti Om Swastir Om Swastir Om Swastihi Om Asya Kamano Ridhim Bravantu Bravantu Om Ridyatam Om Ridyatam Om Ridyatam Om Swastino Govinda Swastino Chutananto Swastino Vasudevo Vishnu Dratu Swastino Narayano Narovai Swastina Padmanava Purushottam Dratu Swastino Vishvakshvena Vishveshwaraha Swastino Rishi Kesho Harir Dratu Swastino Vaina Tayo Harihi Swastino Ananjana Sutto Hanor Bhagavatu Dratu Swasti Swasti Sumangalai Kesho Mahan Shri Krishna Sakchit Ananda Ganaha Sarveshvareshu Dratu Om Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Ma Mantra, please. Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama Rama Hare Hare
Preshtaya Bhutale Srimate Bhakti Vedanta Swami Niti Namine Namaste Saraswate Deve Gauravani Pracharine Nirvishesha Sunyavadi Paschatya Deshatarine Swaha 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 Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prishtaya Bhutale Srimate Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Tinamine Sri Varshavana Bidevi Daitaya Kripantaye Krishna Sambandha Vidyana Daine Prabhave Namaha Madhurya Chwala Premadya Shri Rupa Nuga Bhakti Da Shri Gora Kuna Shakti Vigrahaya Namostute Namaste Gora Vani Shri Murtai Dhinatari Ne Rupa Nuga Virudhapa Apasudanta Vanta Harine Swaha 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 Namo Gora Kishoraya Sakshad Vairagya Murtaye Vipralamba Sambode Parambujaya Te Namaha Swaha, 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 Namo Bhakti Vinodaya, Satchirananda Namine, Gora Shakti Surubaya, Rupa Nuga Varayate, Swaha, Swaha, Swaha Gora Virbhava Bhomeshtvam Nirdeshka Sachanapriya Vaishnava Sarva Bhoma Shri Jagannathaya Te Namaha Swaha Swaha Pancha, Pulpa, Krugascha, Krupasindo, Kevacha, Patitanam, Padamikyo, Vaishnavibhyo, 
नमो नमः
Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Swaha, 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 Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Rama Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Swaha, 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 Om Puh Swaha, Idam Nishtave, Idam Namaha, Om Puh Swaha, Idam Achutai idam namama om swa swaha idam narayana idam namama om bhuva swa swaha idam anantai idam namama and now you can stand up for the last part called the Purnahuti if you like, once you stand up, or if you can stand up with a banana, do that and you can come around the fire. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Everyone chant, please. No talking. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Okay. Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Come around the fire, please, everyone. We. We fit as many as a thousand here before, so please come in. And uh, Chanta Riksha, you can move some of this paraphernalia to the room, please. Anything that's in instructing. Come close. Namo Brahmanya Devaya. Namo Brahmanya Devaya. Go Dittaya Krishnaya Govindaya Namo Namaha Swaha Now you can place your grains, not direct hits, don't make big splashes. Grains, banana, carefully. Om Purnam Mada Purnamidam Om Purnam Mada Purnamidam Purnam Purnam Udakshite Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnameva Vishishyate Mandrahinam Grihinam Bhaktihinam Jaradhanam Yathujitam Vayadevam Paripunam Tarastume Om Purnam Mada Purnamidam